Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically download the original image files that are being used in your Figma image fills using the Tiny Image plugin. So to get started, all we need to do is go to the little resources icon at the top of your Figma file and if you click on that and search for Tiny Image, so that's T-I-N-Y-I-M-A-G-E and you'll see Tiny Image pop up under the plugins tab. If you go ahead and click on that, you can then run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here, or I'd recommend clicking on this little more options icon here and just clicking save plugin. And that's just gonna save it to your plugins list for easy access later. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So I'm just gonna go to my canvas. I'm just gonna right click anywhere and go down to plugins. And then I'm gonna go down to the saved plugins item. And then I'm just gonna go down to the tiny image option. And that's just gonna run the plugin we saved a second ago. So for today's tutorial, I really wanna show you how to export the original images that are being used in your Figma file. So I've just got this Figma file from the Figma community, which is a mock-up of the Spotify app. And you'll notice here that we've got an image fill on each of these layers. So you can see here in this particular layer, we've got an image fill set, so this image here. Um, but unfortunately, we can't extract that original image uh, easily from here. So sometimes there's a way to do it through the inspect panel. Usually there'll be a little link down here where it says uh, background and then the JPEG file. Usually uh, you can click on that and it'll let you download it individually, but it's quite time consuming to go through all of the layers and do it manually. So what I'm gonna be showing you now is basically how to extract all of the original image fills that are being used on your layers uh, automatically in one go. So the way we can do that is by going to the downsizer function in the tiny image plugin. So if you click on this little downsizer button here, that's basically gonna open up a new panel which shows all of the image fills on your page. So these are all the images that are being used uh, in all the different layers. And we can narrow this down by frame. So if you just wanted to find them all for this frame one, we can just click on that frame, click on the refresh icon, and that'll just find all of the image fills in this particular frame. So you can see here we've got 10 image fills. Uh, they're all being named image because that's the name of the images here. Uh, if we were to rename that, you can see uh, we'll change that one to album cover and just refresh the selection. So if we just go there, refresh it, you'll notice that one of them is now called album cover. And we can easily see which layers which just by clicking on this little image icon here. And that's just gonna jump you to the image that we're looking at. So if the images are all named the same, uh, that's just a really quick way of jumping around. Okay, so now that we've got those selected and I want to export all these image fills, all I need to do is go down here to the bottom of the plugin and click on this button that says export Figma image fills. So I'm gonna click on that now. And that's basically gonna export all of the fills to a zip file. So I'm gonna save that zip file onto my desktop. I'm just gonna open up the zip file now. And if I open up the folder, you can see here that I've got all of my image fills exported. So we've got our covers, all the different covers here from the original file. Uh, those are all being used. So we can do the same thing uh, over here. So if we wanted to export this frame, we can just jump back in to the downsizer uh, feature click on the export image fills button again, and that's just gonna export that next batch of images. So I'm just gonna unzip that one so you can have a look. And if we open up the folder, you can see here that we've got all of the original fills. And the cool thing is you'll notice that some of these images are different sizes to what's being displayed in Figma. So for example, this top image here, which is quite a large uh, image, if we actually track that down in the design, you can see here that it's quite small. So it's the, the image layer itself is actually very tiny, but because we're exporting the original image that was used, uh, that was dragged into the design from somebody's computer, uh, it's, it's exporting that original image. So the original image is much larger in this case. And so that's what's getting exported. Uh, so that's why different images will come out at different sizes, even though they're being used at the same size in the design here. So um, yeah, that's basically it. If you wanna do it for the whole file, you can definitely do that as well. Just click on the downsizer button again. And if you don't have any layers selected, so before I was selecting a frame and then refreshing it, if you just don't have any layers selected, click on the uh, refresh icon. It'll say refresh all of the fills on the page. So I'm just gonna click that. And then you can basically either export everything or you can just check the ones you wanna export. In this case, I can just show you what it looks like to export them all. So I'm just gonna click on export Figma image fills again. And this is basically gonna go through and automatically export 76 images. So you can see it's downloading all those from Figma 
And I'm just going to save that to my desktop one last time. And if I open up that, uh, you can see here that we've got 76 uh, original image fills. So these are all the image fills uh, from the entire Figma file. And so we can basically go through those and use them or reuse them. Uh, you can basically do whatever you want, but uh, this is going to be the quickest way to get all of those original image fills out of the file. If you do need to use them, uh, then yeah, if you want to avoid doing it manually, or as I showed you before, sometimes it just doesn't show up in the inspect panel. Uh, that is another way you can do it normally uh, manually, but yeah, in this case, it doesn't seem to be wanting to give those up. So um, yeah, hopefully this helps if you've been wondering how to export the original images or the original image files from your Figma file. Uh, they're definitely in there. It's just a bit tricky to get them out. So hopefully this will help you uh, get them out much easier uh, with one click using the tiny image plugin. So we'll leave it there for today. Thank you as always for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.